Hi, I'm Brittany with Moss and Oak, and I'm here today with Flowers from Botanical Interests to show you some different ways that you can use flowers from your garden at home. So today we're going to show you how to uh, wrap a bouquet of flowers if you want to give it as a gift, um, if you're going to a party as a hostess gift, birthday, whatever it might be. Um, I always start out with some greenery on the back side. So you'll just kind of layer it in. So just kind of staggering it together, alternating. And I'll cut my stems at the end so that way I have them all perfect. So once you have the placement exactly how you'd like it, you can cut the stems. And right now I'm placing it on a piece of burlap. Um, the size is about 20 by 20, but you are welcome to use craft paper or any sort of um, beautiful paper that you have at your home. You'll wrap up the bottom first. I like to pull it around and kind of tuck it to the back or fold it in. Then you can tie it with your beautiful ribbon. So you'll just cut it with your scissors, give it a nice little trim. And if you're going to be, you know, a few hours without water for the flowers, what you could also do is wrap a paper towel around the stems in water and place a baggie over it so it still ha can drink. And there you go. You're off for the party. Another great idea with your cut flowers is to make a wreath. So you can make them for different holidays, you could do it for um, the different seasons, spring, summer, fall. Um, so today we are using a wreath um, pre-made that's just from your local craft store so you can pick one up. And then we're going to add on some different items. We're going to use a wire to adhere the floral items to the wreath. Um, so you can go ahead and start just by wrapping it around to secure it, so this will be the base, and then slowly start to add in your flowers. You'll only need a couple inches on the stem, you don't need the full stem, so you can trim that off. Add it in, layer it, and again you can place it however you wish, it doesn't have to be perfect. The great thing about these wreaths is you can make it, like I said, for every holiday um, or season, so you can switch it up depending on what you have growing in your garden at the time. You can start to transition it out. If you want it on the bottom, you could do it just on the side. So again, your choice. And when you're done, just give your wire a trim. So just take your ribbon and wrap it around once or twice. Give it a trim and it's ready for your door. Another idea that we have for you is going to make a flower crown. Um, so we're going to start with that same wire that you can get at your local craft store and measure it out uh, to fit your head or whoever's head you might be making a flower crown for. Um, so it's about, give a little, you know, couple inches extra because what we're going to do is make some loops with it. So you'll take your wire, on one end make a little loop. This is where the end of the flower crown is going to hook in. And then you're going to take floral tape. So again, you can get that at your local craft store and wrap it around. And then you're going to go all the way down the wire. And with this tape, you do need to pull it out for it to become sticky. So some people think, oh, it's not sticky. There's something wrong with it, but you just need to stretch it out. And then once you have your wire wrapped, you're going to cut and prepare all of your flowers. You want them in short little pieces. So just a couple inches long. And then same thing for your flowers. You're just going to need a little bit of stem left. So once you have everything trimmed, we're gonna go ahead and start. You can start on the end with your circle, your little hook, get that wire back again, and then you're just gonna wrap it around. So you're gonna start at that base, wrap it so it's secure. You can still see that little loop for the end. And then you're just gonna build on top of that. So take your next piece of greenery, wrap it around. You can alternate your flowers in in whatever color or pattern you choose to do. So now we're coming to the end of our flower crown. Um, so what you're gonna do is just finish up with those last few blooms. And you're gonna wanna leave a tail of that free wire so that it can hook into the back side uh, of the opposite side of your flower crown. So once you get those final few pieces in, you'll trim the wire that you've been wrapping with. And then using that free end of the original wire that we made, you're gonna make a little loop. The nice thing about this is by making it as a loop, you can fit it then to whoever's head you're um, putting it on for. So if you need to make it smaller, you can make that loop 
a little bit tighter. If you need to make it bigger, you can do that as well. So it just loops in like that, and then you're ready to go. So now we're gonna show you how to make a boutonniere. A boutonniere is a great uh, thing to make if you are going to prom, homecoming, or if you have a special um, event or date that you're going out for. So you can pick whatever uh, variety that you like. I like to start with some greens for the back, kind of the base of it. Um, and same thing what we've been doing, you trim it off. You don't need those lower leaves on, so um, you can trim those off and then keep that stem a couple inches down to wrap. So I like to start with two pieces of greenery. Same thing, you're just gonna peel off those bottom leaves to give it a really clean look. And then you start to build, almost like you're building a little bouquet in your hand. Um, so you'll start with that greenery, layer in your flower, and then any additional flowers as well. And then you can take tape or wire, whatever works for you, to wrap it together. And you'll wanna hold it tight so they don't shift too much as you wrap. And then wrap with whatever finishing material you like. So today I'm gonna to use a little piece of leather, wrap a few times around. You're gonna cover up that green tape so you won't see it at all. And then just tie it in a little knot, trim, and then trim the stems. You wanna leave a little bit of length on there because it will balance out the weight once you put it on. But there you go, it'll be ready to be pinned. You just put two pins through the back and you're ready to go. Enjoy.